In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the types of microorganisms. In this lecture, we will focus on the branches of the microbiology. Each organism is studied under a specific branch of the microbiology. Uh, that's why we classify different uh, organisms into different branches. Branches of microbiology can be classified into three main areas or we can study uh, the microbiology uh, on the basis of three different aspects. Uh, the basic branches that include the type of the organisms and integrated branches uh, include the level at which we study the microorganisms and applied branches are the practical application of the microorganisms and microbiology. Basic branches of the microbiology include the bacteriology. Bacteriology is the study of the bacteria that is a single cell prokaryotic organisms having no membrane bound nucleus having no membrane bound organelles mycology is the study of the fungi fungi is a eukaryotic heterotrophic organisms it may include the microscopic and macroscopic as well so mycology include the mold and yeast and mushroom and puffballs protozoology is the study of the protozoa these are the unicellular eukaryotic organisms that mainly uh, cause different types of uh, diseases in humans and animals virology is the study of the viruses virus like particles prions and viroids Viruses are the acellular particles uh, that mainly pesticide the cells. Parasitology is the study of the parasitisms and the parasites. All aspects of the parasites are studied uh, in the branch of the parasitology. Parasitology uh, mainly include the pathogenic protozoa, helminth, worms, and the certain insects. Phycology, also called the algology, is the study of the uh, algae. Algae are the simple photosynthetic eukaryotes and that may uh, range in the size of, from the single cell to the large uh, seaweeds. Integrated branches of microbiology. Integrated branches of microbiology include the level at which we study the microorganisms. If we study form and structure of the microorganisms that is under the heading of the morphology that is called the microbial morphology if we study uh, the functions of the different microorganisms their metabolisms their cellular functions their molecular functions that is called the microbial physiology microbial taxonomy is the classification naming and identification of microorganisms when we identify a specific microorganisms when we give the name to specific microorganisms on the basis of their uh, genus and species and when we classify the microorganism into different groups and subgroups on the basis of their similarities and differences that is uh, in the branch of the microbial taxonomy Microbial genetics include the heredity and the transmission of characters uh, from one microbe to other microbes. When we study the genetic material of the microorganisms, that is in the microbial genetics. And we, uh, when we study the molecules uh, like the DNA, RNA and protein of the microorganism, that is in the molecular biology, that is called the microbial molecular biology. So, the function of genetic material and biochemical reactions that make up the cell metabolism is under the heading of the microbial genetics and molecular biology. Microbial ecology is the relationship of an organism uh, with its environment. Specifically, when we deal with the microbial ecology, it uh, is mainly concerned with the relationship of the microorganism with their environment, their role uh, in the environment and their role in the ecosystem that is in uh, microbial ecology. So these are the uh, integrated branches. Kis level pe hum study karna chahte hain? Us level pe hum us branch ko uh, naam denge. Isi liye inko integrated branches of microbiology ka naam diya jata hai. Now applied branches of microbiology to kahan kahan pe microorganism apply hote hain? तो कोई ऐसी इंडस्ट्री कोई ऐसा एरिया नहीं है जहां पर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म अप्लाई ना होते हो जहां पर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म यूज ना होते हो तो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म फ्रॉम आवर एनवायरनमेंट टू द इंडस्ट्री दे प्ले देयर स्पेसिफिक रोल वी क्लासिफाई द माइक्रोबायोलॉजी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द दे आर अप्लाइड वी कैन क्लासिफाई देम इज इंडस्ट्रियल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एग्रीकल्चर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी फूड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी डेयरी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एक्वाटिक माइक्रोबायोलॉजी मेडिकल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी फार्मास्यूटिकल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड मेनी अदर ब्रांचेस इंडस्ट्रियल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इंक्लूड द इंडस्ट्रियल यूज ऑफ माइक्रोब्स इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट 
types of the beverages alcoholic beverages vitamin production amino acids enzymes antibiotics and many other drugs these are the application of microorganisms in the industry agriculture microbiology is mainly use of the microorganisms to enhance the quality and quantity of the crops uh, and also uh, improve the yield of the crop and protect the plants from different types of the uh, infections and from different types of pathogens food microbiology mainly deal with the interaction of microorganisms and food in addition to food processing food spoilage food borne diseases and their prevention फूड के जितने भी एस्पेक्ट्स हैं फूड की प्रिपरेशन है फूड की प्रोसेसिंग है फूड की प्रिजर्वेशन है और फूड को स्पाइलिस से प्रिवेंट करना है और फूड बॉन्ड डिजीज को कंट्रोल करना है दैट इज इन द अप्लाइड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी फूड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी डेयरी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी डील विद द प्रोडक्शन एंड मेंटेनेंस इन क्वालिटी कंट्रोल ऑफ डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स मिल्क मेड प्रोडक्ट्स जितने भी हैं उनको हम डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स कहते हैं और व्हेन वी डील विद द मिल्क मेड प्रोडक्ट्स आर द रोल ऑफ द माइक्रोऑर्गेनिज्म इन द मिल्क मेड प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक द योगर्ट प्रोडक्ट production cheese productions these are uh, this is the dairy microbiology aquatic microbiology mainly concerned with the fresh water estuaries and the marine waters so jab hum water level pe microorganism ko apply karenge that is called the aquatic microbiology air microbiology deals with the role of aerospores in contamination and spoilage of food and dissemination of plant and animal diseases through air to so, hum animal diseases plant diseases ko jo air se transfer hoti hain aur aerospore contamination ko aur food spoilage ko hum deal karte hain that is the air microbiology exo microbiology deals with the exploration finding of the microbial world in the outer space what are the role of the microorganism in outer space uh, outer space uh, either these microorganism are uh, playing a specific role or they are found in the outer space as well so that is exo microbiology the deal with the exploration of microbial life in outer space medical microbiology uh, concern with the causative agent of the disease how the disease is caused what is the pathogenesis of the disease how uh, the specific microorganism cause uh, different types of symptoms what or different systems that are affected by their specific microorganisms their identification and preventive uh, treatment and preventive measures or uh, preventive measures all are discussed in the medical microbiology immunology mainly concerned with the defense system of the body when we deal with the immune system that protect against the infections uh, that mainly uh, deal with the vaccines mainly deal with the different types of antigen antibody reactions uh, it may uh, also help in the diagnosis and the treatment of different infections so immunology is the study of immune system uh, for the diagnosis of infection and for the prevention of the infections public health microbiology concerns with the monitoring control and spread of diseases in communities public health microbiology infections ko control karne ke liye monitor karne ke liye hum uh, apply karte hain biotechnology mainly uh, used for the use of living organisms and use of the techniques to produce useful products so microorganisms are the base or foundation of the biotechnology so, biotechnology microorganism ke bagair kuch bhi nahi hai these are different applied area of the microbiology there's all about the branches of microbiology we have classified the branches into three main areas basic branches integrated branches and applied branches in the next lecture uh, we will discuss about the history of the microbiology